Can we do a deal with that? Absolutely. That's exactly where we were the other day. 165 grand for a house full stop is a good price. We're going to go undercover. Do you know why the vendor's selling? Well, inside there isn't. I knew as soon as we walked in there, we were doomed. They know nothing about property. We've been to another estate agency and they are closed. We're going to go in, a leg and a wing, and chance it. <laughs> I'm Katie Wilson and I am a professional property investor and a deal packager. So this video is part two. If you've missed part one, you can go back and watch that now. Just to give you a refresher on what we're doing here today, we are starting a deal packaging business in a brand new area where nobody knows my name. So now what I'm going to be doing is trying to find property deals on Rightmove and then we're going to go and see the agents. But before we do that, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Deal packaging is effectively where we, as the deal packager, find a deal of value and then sell that deal to a property investor. So we are looking for deals of value. What do I mean by value? Either getting the property below market value, so getting a discount, instant equity for the investor, or we could be trying to find a deal where we're gonna add value. What I focus on is below market value because I want to acquire some of these properties for myself and sell the others on to investors with no Money in for me. In the last video, what we did was we were still looking on Rightmove to find property deals and we were calling the agents to see if we could pre-qualify our offer before we even go on the viewing. I have been on some viewings since I've last seen you. Those viewings, I've made the offers, I'm still waiting to hear back. I've also got an appointment with a landlord that owns over a hundred properties. So stay tuned in this video series to find out what happens in that meeting. So I'm looking through I'm ignoring park homes, I'm ignoring new builds, I'm ignoring retirement, because retirement we can't package. Uh, it's only for over 55s, I believe. We wouldn't be buying a new build, because new build properties tend to be overinflated. They say it takes about 10 to 12 years for a new build property to sort of plateau to get to the point where it's worth what it is actually worth. What I'm looking for now is the potential to find a property to go in and talk to the agent about that property. What's this? 300,000, I think that's too much. I've saved it, love. See, my brain thinks exactly the same every single time. Very strange layout. Usually, looking at these properties from a high level point of view, this property would make a great example for a HMO or splitting it into flats. But looking at this floor plan, it's very unusual. So I'm gonna skip past this one because not only does the floor plan not work, but I also think it's slightly overpriced as well. So I don't want a house that's too big. This is too big. This wouldn't be the ideal investment property. We're looking for something reasonably small, either an apartment or a two to three bed house. You can package anything in theory, but the reality is any investor is gonna look at a property like this one here, 495,000 pounds. So that's a lot of money to put in to a single family. The rent's gonna be really low in comparison to the investment. So what you really wanna do is buy a cheap house and make more profit. This is nice. Three bedroom, mid terrace, 190 grand guide price with Yopa. Now Yopa is a national agent, which means there's a very good chance that when you book a viewing with Yopa, you're gonna get straight direct to vendor, which is what we need. There is nothing wrong with this house. You may look at this and think it needs a full refurb. I don't think it needs a full refurb. There are some things that I can see. It's got an old fashioned gas fire. Liquor paint and carpets, couple of points of touch up. It is cosmetic, less than 10 grand on a refurb. What I'm now gonna do is I'm just gonna value it. I'm now looking at comparable properties. And the interesting thing about the comparable properties is that all of them are two beds. So I believe that this property, two bed, two bed, two bed, is built a standard as a two bed and potentially they've added a bedroom because it says it's a three. It looks like they've reduced the bathroom size to make another bedroom, which is not good from a living point of view, but can we do a deal with that? Absolutely, because no one's gonna wanna buy it. So we'll save that one. What's this? Park End Road, Gloucester. Looks like it was a shop and it's been converted back, which I think that is telling me that it's on that road that felt rough in the last video that we did. You can see where the old shop front was. That's actually not bad now looking at that as a flat, but would I pay that much money for it? No. Can you see how the wallpaper's hanging off here? That tells me there's a damp problem, especially looking at where the roof line is. There's something wrong with the drainage on the roof. So I wouldn't even say it needs a new roof, I'd say it needs work. So it's probably a guttering issue, maybe a mix of a few little bits and bobs and tweaks on the roof, not major. It looks like a house, but it's actually two apartments. So the only people that are gonna to wanna to buy this are investors. Investors aren't gonna pay over market value. It's been on for six months. Something's not right. I think it's on for too much. 
but we can go and have a conversation about that. It's exactly where we were the other day. Like literally the same road. But we'll go and inquire. Look at this bad boy, four bed house. Now you're gonna look at this and go, oh, it's really nice. But the reality is to make the most out of this house, I look at that and think that should be either a HMO or converted into flats. So what we need to do is work out what it's worth, how much it would cost to convert it, and then potentially we can package that to a developer. Is that 165? 165 grand for a house full stop is a good price. It needs some money spending on it. I reckon this house has got damp problems. Really, it's gonna be one of them houses that needs a bit of work from a damp point of view. Look at this ceiling, that's gotta go. If there's a fire, it'll melt, basically. The radiators look like they've seen better days, so I'm questioning if it needs some work doing on the heating. I think it needs a full refurb. This is not a bedroom, it's not to building regs. I don't think it would take a lot to get that to building regs. There's value add, because you can add a bedroom. The question is, what's it worth as a three bed? So a three bed's gone for 120, and this is a two bed that we could convert into a three bed. But by the time you've done it and spent all that money on it, it's only gonna be worth 120. It's up for 165. You can go and talk to the agent. What we've now done is we've found properties on Rightmove, which we believe to potentially be deals, but we don't know that yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and see the agents to find out more. If you wanna learn how to do this for yourself, there is a free report which you can download. The link is in the description below. Now let's go and see the agents. There's definitely potential with what we've found, but at this point we don't know. And the reality is you're gonna get rejection, you're gonna get no's. But the key is when you go into any agency, there is normally more than one person in that agency. And what we need to do is we need to make sure we get the right person. Now, it's not always gonna be hit the ground running and get the best person in the agency. What you need is the person that is open to being creative. So when I walk into these estate agents today, I'm gonna to know what property I wanna look at and talk about, which gives me the upper hand. Estate agent relationships are based on human connection. Some people people will like you and some people won't. That's the reality. I think a lot of people expect estate agents to, you know, jump as high as the person wants them to. It's a give and take, it's a two-way street. So remember that estate agents are people. You've got to work out what motivates them and what restrictions they have to work to so you can work together. That's the key. So this is Gloucester. Never actually looked at any properties to buy for myself or my investors here, but that is the point. We're starting from scratch in a brand new area and this is the area that we've chosen. The return on investment is higher than it would be in Cheltenham and it's only a 20 minute drive from where I live. So ideally, if you've got an area, it needs to be local to you. You can package deals anywhere in the country, but full admission, and I say it as it is, different strategies will work better in different areas. Buy to let and discounted properties will work fantastic in Gloucester. So let's go and see the agents and see what we can find. Now, the key is we're gonna go undercover. So you're not gonna be able to see any of this, but you will be able to hear the conversation. So let's go. Hiya. Are you right? uh, yeah, good, thank you. I'm new to the area. Okay. Um, I'm from Nottingham, I don't know if you got, got that from the accent. Okay. Um, and I just wanted to talk to you about a couple of properties which I've had a look on Right Move. This is Harry, I'm Katie. How are you Who are you? I'm Ed. Ed, hi Ed. How are you? Park End Road. This one. It's on for 190. When did that go on the market? I think it's been on a while, hasn't it? So we had it on the market last year. It then sold and ah. come back to the market. So it fell through. Do you know why? I can't see it on here. Since then, it's been on the market for another, what, six odd months. So I'm wondering what the problem is with it. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I've never actually been there. OK. Do you know why the vendor's selling? Well, I've only started here recently. Oh, have you? That's all right. You, you, you know more than me. I don't say why he's selling them. Okay. So for now, um, I mean, we have a key, so we could arrange a viewing potentially if you would be interested in that. Yeah, I'll definitely arrange a viewing on it. Okay. I think it's potentially a good opportunity. So if I'm honest, it wasn't the most successful visit. I think we ended up with the wrong person, so I knew as soon as we walked in there, we were doomed. We spoke to a really nice lad, but he's only been in the job a couple of weeks. Bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, wants to help as much as possible, but knows absolutely nothing about any property they're selling. He will probably grow to be a great sales negotiator, but at the moment he's brand new and he doesn't really know to tell me the inside information. You are going to get a mix of different types of people that work in the agency. This is why it's so important that you speak to the right person. For example, the valuer has got years of experience in valuing properties, knows exactly what they're doing. You're also going to get people who work in estate agencies who are just doing an admin job. You don't want to be stuck with the person just doing an admin job because they know nothing about property. Now, what I did do 
was find out that the guy I need to speak to is called Miles. So what Miles is now going to do is he's going to ring me and I'm going to arrange a viewing to see if there's anything we can do to get one of these leads at the moment across the line. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go and see another agent based on another property we've saved because we've deemed it as potentially a good lead and hope that we get a better person to talk to. Hello. Okay. Yeah, thanks to you. Yeah, good, thank you. Good. I'm, um, I'm Katie. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Shar. You all right? Shar. So I'm brand new to the area. Brilliant. So I'm looking for stuff in Gloucester. Yeah. Uh, I've had a look on Right Move today and I found a property yeah. on Stratton Road. Yeah. That one. What is it, about six months it's been on? So Do you know anything about it? What happened was that it was sold. Yeah. Um, and then I don't know if the sellers pulled out or the, the purchases, but now we put it back on the market um, and it's been live for say a week or so. Oh, so it's not been back it's on long? No, no. Okay. All right. It's got potential to do something with Absolutely. it. I'm thinking HMO. Yeah. I don't know if there's many in the area because I don't know the area well enough yet. No, it's okay. So I can definitely find out for you. That's no bother. Yeah, okay, cool. We also have these as well. Um, so if I just hand you that, Stratton Road's here. Yeah. We've got other things that are within the, the price range okay. um, similar to it. Um, are you registered with us already? You know? I'm not, no, I'm, I'm literally brand new. Yeah, no worries. Do you mind if I take your phone number? Is that okay? Yeah, I don't know it. One second. No worries. What are you looking for specifically? I'm looking basically to build a portfolio here because okay. I'm now based here and that's it. I can do quite complex stuff, so if we've got properties with problems, we probably won't have many short leases around here, but if you've got investment properties, landlords with portfolios, yeah. anything like with tenants in situ where they're not letting you do viewings, right. I'm happy to offer okay. without needing to see it. I'm okay. happy with photos. Brilliant. Yeah, so I'll, I'll definitely put that in the notes. Um, but yeah, Stratton Road is probably the best if you wanted to add the most value to it. Okay. Um, but if you wanted something else, uh, I would say Victory Road is probably a good one as well. We've got two on Victory Road, so what we can do is we can also take out a whole day and get you to see a all few. of them. Yeah, yeah all, that'd be great. There. And then we can go from there really. Um, Perfect. What we'll also do is, if it's okay with you, if we get you on the marketing consent, so yeah. even before things go live, we'll be sent it and okay. we can get you in as soon as possible. Yeah, that'll be amazing for yeah. me. Um, being able to view stuff before it goes to market yeah. is sort of where I want to be. So, yeah. yeah. So we've been to see another estate agent, spoke to someone who is a little bit more helpful. Bless her, she's also new. She's only been in the job a couple of months. With Shah, she wants to help us to do business. Proactively offered to put me on a list which means I see properties before they go to market, but so as tens of thousands of other people. So it's a great starting point, but it's not where you want to stay. But what's going to happen is I've booked a viewing on three properties. She's taking half a day out to show me around three properties. I went in with a view of looking at one. She's found me two more. So I'm very hopeful for those viewings. We've been to see two agents and we've got two new people. I don't believe it's because the management won't speak to me yet. I think it's purely just the first person that I walk to when I go through the door happened to be the new person. I think that having the manager in the office while she's trying to have a conversation puts the pressure on the person in the agency. So I try to get them on viewings on their own. I need to know more about the properties, who's selling them, why are they selling them, what the motivation is, so that I can work a way around making a lower offer because I am not going to be paying asking price for any of those single properties that we've looked at today. The mistake that most people make with below market value is they're just going to an agent and offer a really low price. You've got to get the relationship with the agent and educate the agent as to why you're offering what you're offering. But you've got to start somewhere and today the point is to start the relationships with the estate agents. We are now going to see our third estate agent of the day. It's very strange in Gloucester. None of the agents are in a row on the high street like they are everywhere else in the world. So we are taking time out to travel to each one. Well, we've been to another estate agency and they are closed. But what I do believe I've just found is a couple that are gathered together. So we'll go and find them. We're going to chance it. We're going to go in, a leg and a wing, and chance it. I'm new in the area and looking to buy some investment properties. Yeah. Haven't seen anything on Right Move that you guys yeah. have got, but I thought even if you haven't, you know, yeah. your nose in the pipeline. Yeah. Just okay. thought I'd come and meet you. Yeah. So if you've got any landlords that are looking to offload portfolios, I'd be interested in that. Mm -hmm. Just anyone with a problem property or yeah. a problem person. Exactly. Buy it cash, do it all, refinance it, pull as much out as possible. Yeah. Um, we've got a few different types to be honest. Um, let me pick some of the Okay, cool, thank you. Oh yeah, okay. 
I think he's had quite a few investments that he's got to look after. Is he? Yeah. This probably wouldn't work as a single house, yeah. but maybe if he's selling more than one. Mm -hmm. They're not local there. Miles away? Yeah, miles. <laughs> okay, well, that's not necessarily a problem because I've got stuff in Nottingham and I'm not in yeah. Nottingham anymore. I'll double check. Is it possible for you to reach out to him and just say, if he's selling all of them, he's going to be getting capital gains tax on all of them and maybe yeah. we could do something so that he wouldn't have to pay as much, he gets more relief from his annual relief. What's this? These are um, yes. going to auction. Um, are um, they? Yeah, same vendor. Same landlord selling both? Same landlord selling both. Going to auction. We have got people that are interested um, if you didn't want to interview in. The one of them that you don't need to see both because they're both the same. Yeah. Pretty yeah. Much. So I'd be interested in seeing if there's anything yeah, we can I'll do with this again. guy. If I'll you can reach out, I'd be ever so grateful. Yeah, well, I'll have to yeah, yeah. Um, and these two, I'll do a bit more research. Yeah, have a little look, yeah. Thank you. Um, well, I'm new to the area and I'm a property investor, so I'm looking to buy a few. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm, it's a mix. So for me, I'm looking for buy to let for my own portfolio, but I also work with other investors as well. I'd be open to looking at properties that might work as HMOs if they're in the right area. Three in my mind. Go for it, you tell me. So this house is in a place called Granville Street. Okay. Um, three bedroom semi. Been owned in the same family since the 1980s. They've basically done nothing to it. So it's dated, it's got damp, uh, there's no heating. Okay. We're going to need a rewire. Okay. Um, but it's got a nice garden, 70 foot garden on the back of it. Oh, brilliant. Nice that's kitchen. That's lovely, that. I mean, but which round with a duster, you'd be fine. Right? Yeah, I yeah. think that's that's my ideal. It's on 190. Okay. Done up in that road with parking 260, 270 wow. is what they would go okay. for. Grasmere Road. Oh, this looks like my portfolio houses. So this is a typical 1930s brilliant. bay front in seven, given the same ownership since it was built. So as you can imagine, it's pretty dated. It's got like original um, doors in it. It's in good condition though, yeah. it's been looked after, it's just it's dated. Out, it's just very, very dated. And that's so, like 280. 280. Done up about 350. Okay. And if you can put an extension on it, a bit more than that again. I like that one as well, actually. Really again, same area. This is its second time on the market. Right. The chap's been there since the 1960s. Okay. And again, it's all been well cared for. Yeah. So this is on a 350. Yeah. Could be up to 400 depending on what you do to it. Okay. So we're back at the office. We have been to see estate agents where we've found the property, where we've identified it might be a potential deal. We've also been into the other agents in the area. We've told them who we are, what we're looking for, what we want and what we don't want, and that we want to make profit because we're property investors. So we've had a mixed bag of results. We've had some bad luck where we've had some agents that don't necessarily know too much about property or the properties we're talking about or the landlords or why they're selling. This is all critical information that we need to learn from estate agents. Now the good thing about those people is we can work with them from a very early starting point in their career to be able to work with them consistently in the future. So that's not all a loss. But we have had some really exciting results from the last couple that we went to see. They have provided us with a number of properties that haven't yet gone to auction but will be at some point. So they've offered us to go in and view and offer on the properties before they even go to auction. From an initial quick glance, I believe that they're actually under value. So they're below market value at the price that they're asking for. So that's a great starting point. The other point is that two of them are owned by the same person. So this landlord may be selling more than one property, may be selling a portfolio, which leads to multiple deals in one, which means more cash flow for us as deal packages. With one of the agents that we went to see, we got straight in with the valuer. We could just tell by talking to him that he knew his stuff. He was basically saying, I'll show you what stock I've got that will suit you. So he would say, oh, I've got this one, it's about 80,000 pound profit. I've got this one, it's about 50,000 pounds profit. From the valuer himself, knowing the value of what it is when we were acquire it but also what it would be worth at the end is key. I'm really really excited for what properties have been presented to me today. Not only have I got some leads to go with but I've got some great relationships as well. So we've spent the day today finding properties that are going to make us potentially tens of thousands of pounds by selling them on to investors. You can do exactly the same but in order to do that you need to get educated. If you want to do that there's a free report which is my gift to you. You can download that report. The link is in the description below. In our next video 
video, I'm going to be going on the viewings, meeting the estate agents on a one-to-one -one basis and making the offers. In order not to miss that video, you need to make sure you like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'm Katie Wilson. I'm a national deal packager and property investor and I will see you in the next video.